Most lawmakers are covering their faces while working at the Capitol. The question is, should they be required to? Significant number who have chosen not to wear masks, and that has a significant impact on members' comfort and willingness to be in the chamber. DFL Senator Melissa Wicklund of Bloomington proposed a mask mandate be added to Senate rules, but Republican Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka added an amendment saying that the mask will only be encouraged. The way we have done it right now, not one person has been infected while doing their operation here at the Senate. We've lost one of our colleagues to that. Out of 67 members, we've lost one. Senator John Marty was referring to Jerry Ralph, a senator who died of COVID-related illness in December. He was diagnosed after attending a party celebrating Republicans maintaining control of the Senate. And if some members want to be selfish and say, I don't feel, I don't like it, and I don't care what happens to my colleagues, I say shame on them. To suggest that not wearing a mask is somehow, somehow unethical or we don't care, that is where I take umbrage. But in the end, Gazelka won. Masks are just encouraged in the Senate. Over in the House, on the contrary, they have adopted a new rule for this session that you have to wear a mask while in the chamber. In fact, you're expected to keep the mask on while you're speaking on the floor. Minority Leader Kurt Dowd argued that House members should be able to drop the mask while speaking, citing that Governor Walls does that all the time in his press conferences. But Majority Leader Ryan Winkler said this is all about protecting staff members who are working in the chamber for hours at a time. For CARE 11 News, I'm John Croman. House members also have the option, of course, to participate in debates from remote locations. But in the Senate, the only way for members to take part in a debate is to be there in person.